Good morning, Panthers. Happy Thursday. It's our fourth day of Read Across America Week as we dive into celebrating a nation of diverse readers. And today's theme has to do with family, with your culture. And so your spirit day today is to wear something that represents your culture. Um, for me, my family uh, comes from Italy. And so my grandparents actually came over from Italy. They immigrated here. And I grew up between the Bay Area and St. Louis, which is where my mom's side of her family came from. And so I got to go back and forth between the Midwest of the United States and the West Coast here. And it's a little hard to wear something that represents Italy because one of the biggest things part of our culture had to do with food. So we love to eat. And so some of those, the best memories that I have of my family are growing up, learning how to cook with my grandma in her kitchen. And now I get to pass on some of those same recipes to my own children. And so that really is a little hard to represent with something that we're wearing, but do you know who else is my family? You. And so today I wore my Greer Panthers gear because we all are family. And we're so excited to have our family back on campus soon. So you've probably heard we are getting closer and closer to being able to reopen. We can't wait to have you here. I have missed you all so much. So with that being said, I did pick a special book for us today that has to do with family and America. And this says Ohana means family. And this is a Hawaiian book. So it comes from the state of Hawaii. And it's written by Elima Loomis and illustrated by Kennard Pack. Ohana means family. And it says, what makes the tradition of a Hawaiian luau unique? Golden light, homegrown food, an ancient land, a loving family, and so much more. Preparations for a luau unfold and elegantly grow in complexity in this distinctive picture book written in the cumulative style of The House That Jack Built and illuminated by Kennard Pack's exquisite illustrations. This is the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the mud that grows the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the water, clear and cold, that covers the mud that grows the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. Have any of you had poi before? I tasted poi, it actually is really good. And it's one of their, the cultural foods that is celebrated within Hawaii and those people from Hawaiian culture. Poi is a staple. These are the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the land that's never been sold where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's Luau. This is the stream of sunlit gold flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our ohana's luau. This is the rain in the valley fold that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo to make the poi for our Ohana's luau.
This is the wind on which stories are told that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands, so wise and old, that reach through the water clear and cold into the mud to pick the kalo, to make the poi for our Ohana's luau. This is the sun, all bright and bold, that warms the wind on which stories are told, that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old, that reach through the water clear and cold. Do you remember the rest of it? Into the mud to pick the kalo, to make the poi for our ohana's luau. Have you figured out what a luau, what you think a luau means? This is Ohana, the loved ones we hold, who give thanks for the sun, all bright and bold, that warms the wind on which stories are told, that lifts the rain to the valley fold, that feeds the stream of sunlit gold, flooding the land that's never been sold, where work the hands so wise and old, that reach through the water clear and cold. Look at the Ohana. You have Ohana too, even if you're not Hawaiian, because Ohana means family. Into the mud to pick the kalo, to make the poi. For our Ohana's luau. Did you figure out what luau means? It's like a celebration, a party. Some of you might have like Sunday dinners with your family. Some of you might get together for holidays like Thanksgiving. A luau is a family gathering. All right, and this is a little note on kalo and poi. The origin of kalo, also known as taro, is directly connected to the genealogy of the Hawaiian people. In a story passed down from generation to generation, Wakea, the sky father, and, all right, I'm going to try this. Ho'oho Kukalani gave birth to a stillborn child and buried him near their home. From their infant's earthen grave grew a kalo plant, which they named Holono Kaloa Kapalili, meaning quivering long stalk and leaf. Later, a second child was born and named Heloa. He became the first Kanaka or Hawaiian. This is why Kalo is not just considered a plant, but honored as the elder brother of the human race. Hawaiians cultivated Kalo for more than a thousand years and they continue to do so today in both irrigated ponds called Loi Kalo and in gardens called Mele Ai. Hawaiians grew more than 400 varieties of Kalo, each having unique characteristics, tastes, and uses. Kalo is a highly nutritious food and all parts of the plant are eaten from leaf to corn. The most common way of eating kalo is pounded into a smooth paste called poi. To make poi, the corm is steamed and pounded into a mash called pa'i'ai with a stone pounder called hohaku kui'ai on a wooden board called papa kui'ai. When the pa'i'ai becomes smooth, it is placed into a calabash called an umeki and mixed with small amounts of water to become poi. Poi was the staple food of Hawaiians and it is still cherished today. Ohana put their conflicts aside when poi is present because it is considered disrespectful to quarrel or argue in front of elders. Poi is often the first food given to babies and no celebratory luau is complete without it. All right. So that is Ohana means family. And I can't wait to have all of our Ohana, all of you back here on campus. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Tomorrow we have a special guest reader who's reading for us. In fact, I'm going to be meeting that guest reader on Zoom very soon here because we're going to get ready. I can't wait to see the book that is going to be presented tomorrow. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Bye, Panthers.